Good morning, children. In today's class, we are going to start topic valency. So let's start with the definition of valency. Combining capacity of an element or a group is called its valency. Valency is of some common elements. See here in this chart. See the first element is hydrogen, and the symbol of hydrogen is H, and its valency one. Sodium. Symbol is Na, valency 1. Potassium, symbol K and valency 1. Chlorine, Cl and valency 1. Copper, symbol Cu and valency 1 or 2 also. Some of the elements having variable valency. According to situation, they use it. Now, mercury, Hg, valency 1 or 2. Here also variable valency iodine symbol i valency 1 in case of oxygen symbol o and valency 2 sulfur s see here in case of sulfur triple valencies i have written here 2 4 or 6 according to situation sometimes it use different different valencies in case of iron symbol fe again variable valency 2 or 3 carbon C valency 4, aluminium Al valency 3, nitrogen N variable valency here 3 or 5, zinc symbol Zn valency 2, magnesium symbol Mg valency 2. Now come to formulae of molecular compounds. Now we have to write the formula of some molecular compounds. How we will write? See here. If we know the valencies of elements as I have discussed, then we can work out the formulae of their compounds by valencing the valencies of the different atoms which occur in the compound. Example of hydrogen sulfide compound. So hydrogen sulfide compound is made up of two elements. One is hydrogen, another is sulfur. So, now valency of hydrogen is 1 and valency of sulfur is 2. Dear students, if we will say valency of 1 hydrogen atom, then what we will write? 1 and valency of 1 sulfur atom then 2. Now we have to understand to balance the valency of 2 of a sulfur atom we will have to take 2 atoms of hydrogen. So what we will write valency of 2 hydrogen atoms what we will write 1 into 2 why 1 is the valency of 1 hydrogen atom so we want to make it 2 so we will multiply as a result we will get 2 so for 1 hydrogen atom 1 valency then 2 hydrogen atoms 2 valency now this means you may say that this means what it is saying this means that 2 atoms of hydrogen will combine with what one atom of sulfur so why we have done here this two because we know that to make it balance two atoms hydrogen needed to prepare the compound hydrogen sulfide two atoms of hydrogen for single atom of sulfur then only the compound will prepare now see before writing the formula of any compound we must know some rules so here if hydrogen is one sulfur is two can we write here like this power like this this valency become power sulfur two Hydrogen 1 and sulfur 2. So, dear students, whatever we have 
study here ki why we have done here two hydrogen man matter is here ki one hydrogen will combine with one sulfur and another hydrogen with another sulfur but in case of sulfur in the term of valency we are saying not in the term of atom because here the valency of sulfur is 2 so see here one valency will cancel with one valency so one more valency required that is why we may write double hydrogen as I have done here so formula will like this one more explanation you see here hydrogen in term of hydrogen if we are saying the valency of hydrogen is 1 then in higher class you will learn positive charge or negative charge means ions metals generally contain positive charge and non-metals negative charge but hydrogen is exception here hydrogen contain positive charge and hydrogen having one valency why because it has one positive charge sulfur having two negative charge so here if we all know that ki plus minus cancel so one plus cancel one minus one minus remains in your hand that is why we need to take one more plus so what happens now one hydrogen means one hydrogen having one valency that is one positive charge will combine with one single minus charge second one again positive charge will combine with another minus charge so all both positive or negative cancel to each other as a result see here two hydrogen atoms and one sulfur compound forms now these are some basics now come to the point how we will write the formula in the process To write the formula of any compound, we must know first of all symbols of the elements. Which elements take part in chemical reactions? So first of all, what we have to know? Symbol. So symbol of hydrogen, H. Sulfur, S. Now the second important thing to know, valencies. Valencies. So hydrogen valency, 1. Sulfur, 2. Now, on this basis, we have to generate the formula. See here, just no need to touch it. Just come to here. Take one more time, hydrogen valency 1, sulfur valency 2. Now, see, now we have to do cross. Cross over these valencies. So, 1 will come to sulfur. 1 is the valency of hydrogen. That will come on sulfur during the cross valency 2 2 is the valency of sulfur it will come to hydrogen so hydrogen valency will come to sulfur and sulfur valency come to hydrogen now see the pattern we write the formula of any compound these two hydrogen sulfur one so here this will be the formula of hydrogen sulfide. So, means that we can write the formula of any compound. Dear students, what is the compound name? Hydrogen sulfide. Now, take another example. Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is also said to be hydrogen chloride. See here. Hydrogen valency 1. Chlorine also in that chart we have written and learned also. High chlorine valency is also one. Now if we are doing cross then see the result. Same. There is no change at all. So one chlorine and one hydrogen both having the same valency. See here. So single single atom will easily take part during the chemical reaction. As a result we got hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid and what it is it is the formula what we have generated with the help of two elements and with their valencies so it is symbol and it is valencies now dear students i hope you have understood some more important formulas i will write it here see see in case of ammonia ammonia is a compound and it is a gas ammonia formula of ammonia is NH3. 
how it will generate first c symbol we have to take nitrogen hydrogen now valency of nitrogen is 3 i have written in that chart hydrogen 1 now we have to do cross valencies nitrogen valency will come on hydrogen and hydrogen valency will come on nitrogen so see as a result n will be single so we will write like this hydrogen become 3 so 3 so see this is the formula of ammonia like cross valencies take one more example that is the very important water molecule hydrogen is atom oxygen is atom sing single single here see here now valency 1 oxygen valency is 2 now see here cross valency see then as a formation of water molecule hydrogen become 2 oxygen single like this we can generate the formula and just i have taught you one more thing is very important see here just uh, in this manner if we will talk about the nitrogen then nitrogen having triple minus charge three valency means triple minus charge plus minus letter we have to read in senior classes but try to understand here little internal key why it happens here so nitrogen having three minus charge just i said you hydrogen having single plus charge so if it will join up one minus one plus uh, two minus will be again in your hands is it possible compound will form no isn't it see now we have to take two more plus charge then it will combine as a result you have got ns3 for 3 minus dear students we must need 3 plus also then only your compound will form now in case of water molecule see hydrogen having single plus one hydrogen having one plus but one oxygen having one plus means one valency and oxygen having two valency it is in the term of minus so if oxygen having two valency and two minus charge here and hydrogen having single so one plus will come for one minus then again one minus in your hand that is why it's need two plus to cancel two minus that is why the formula of hydrogen water is like this i hope you understood it valencies of some common group or compound radicals as I have given earlier some names of compound radicals and now we have to talk about the valency related to the compound radicals. Compound radicals having also valency. Then it will take part in chemical reactions. So see first one is hydroxide. Symbol OH. Valency 1. Carbonate CO3. Valency 2. Nitrate NO3. Valency 1. Phosphate. PO4 valency 3, sulfate SO4 valency 2. Now we have to understand how these radicals are going to take part during the chemical reactions. So take an example. Take an example formation of sodium carbonate. Formation. Formation of sodium carbonate formula of sodium carbonate is Na2CO3 now we have to see how as on the basis of valency formula will generate what we have to do first as a rule we have to write the symbol of elements and here it is a compound radical so see sodium Na and now we have to write the valencies of this. So what is the valency of sodium? Sodium valency is 1. Carbonate valency. See here what it is? 2. We have to write it 2. Now again we have to do what? Cross valencies. Sodium valency will come on carbonate. And carbonate valency will come on sodium. See here. So can you write Na2 and CO3? Now, if again you want to understand, dear students, see here. Na is sodium, that is the highly reactive metal. 
here it is positive charge sodium contain positive charge basically we will read it here sodium or metals contain positive charge it is a tendency of metal contain positive charge due to loss of electron we have to read it in higher classes but at least here we have to know that sodium is metal and it has positive charge how many charge here one charge and this one means its valency now come to the carbonate carbonate having double minus again the matter come one plus will cancel one minus one minus remains in your hand so we need one more sodium to combine with another minus that is why your formula become c here 2na na2 we will write not 2na because it is the rule we will write in down so formula become like this i hope you have understood aluminium sulfate that is the very important compound we have to understand how the formula generate the aluminium sulfate so first of all aluminium symbol we have to write al sulfate see here so4 so compound radical now the valency of aluminium is 3 if you have not learned learn from you that chart sulfate here 2 valency of sulfate is 2 now as for the cross valencies c 3 will come on sulfate and 2 has come on aluminium so as a result al2 we can write here and so4 will come in bracket and thrice so4 whole thrice so this is the formula of aluminium sulfate now question may arise ki how it possible aluminium 2 and like this so in the term of plus minus you understand try to understand it is very important single aluminium contain three positive charge just i said metal contains generally positive charge so aluminium is also one of the metal so aluminium having three valency means three positive charge sulfate contains what two negative charge so if two minus will cancel with two plus then one plus remains in your hand so now we require to make it valence once more we have to try then one plus cancel with one minus then this side one minus again left in your hand now what to do one more term we have to apply here take one more aluminium three plus now one more minus will cancel with one plus now what to do two plus remains in your hand then try to understand take one more sulfate ion contains two negative charge now this two positive and two negative just cancel to each other as a result two atoms of aluminium and three compound radicals of sulfate i hope you understood as a result al2 so4 whole thrice is the formula of aluminium sulfate now the topic is over thank you take care bye bye